loves early happy halloween to everyone today i'll be sharing with you this gory zombie halloween costume and this is also a collaboration with my really good friend my beautiful friend here on youtube her name is marjorie also known as may 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 makeup go show her some love subscribe and check out her video on her halloween costume on american horror story and this is also both of our first times doing a halloween tutorial so we hope you guys enjoy it and let's jump into the tutorial so this is optional but I decided to pop in some circle lenses from pinkyparadise.com to add to the whole look. Now I'm first going to start by priming the face with a good face primer since I'm going to be using all cream products for the face and also this palette right here which actually came in a family value pack. You can get this at any party store or any drugstore. And I'm going to be using these three colors, a gray, a green, and also the white cream makeup. You really want to make sure that you warm this product up and mix it on the back of your hand. And then here I'm using a damp sponge and just damping it or pouncing it on my face to get an even layer. But you really have to make sure that you really mix this prod these three colors together or else you'll end up getting like little chunks of green on your face which happened to me so to be honest with you it took me a really long time to get a an even coverage and i'm also bringing this down my neck and also right into my decollete area since the costume does show that area and you want to make sure you also get right underneath your chin so that every inch of your face all the way down to your neck will be covered in the makeup for the brows i'm just using a black eyeliner pencil and i'm just drawing them in or actually i have pretty thin brows so i'm just drawing them in really dark and thin and I'm going to use matte colored shadows. This is actually from a Wet n Wild palette. I'm using the blue and the green. Just working this right into my crease with a crease brush. And it doesn't have to be really neat because the messier the better. I mean, just have fun with it. I'm also going to take this angled brush with the blue and the green matte shadow and I'm going to use this to contour my face but the problem was that I kind of didn't let the cream makeup set so it kind of rubbed off some of my base, my foundation. So I just went ahead and started to just pat on the color right onto my contour areas and then here I'm using a translucent setting powder which I should have done before to set the cream makeup. Now taking a matte burgundy or maroon color I'm going to just pat this onto my lids to give it more of like a bloodshot look again it doesn't need to be neat now mixing the purple and this burnt kind of reddish brownish color with the damp sponge I'm just going to pounce this right around my mouth and this will be used again as just like a base for the colors which we're going to place over it a little bit later on in the tutorial. Now taking this matte purple shadow, this one is from the Lorac Pro 2. I'm just going to again just work this a little bit above my crease and I'm also going to sweep this right along right underneath my eyes to give it more of like that deathly kind of hollow look and it really gives the eyes a really nice bruise kind of gruesome look I really like layering the colors because it really adds a lot of dimension now here I'm taking this cool gray shadow and I'm just going to go ahead and blend it out to kind of soften the edges and just make sure that all of the colors kind of mesh evenly together and here I'm also taking the angled brush with a little bit more of that cool gray color and I'm just going over any of the areas that I contoured and I'm also going to take some of that purple shadow and go over the same areas that I just went over for um, my contour just to give it more dimension and some depth. And again, going back to my maroon colored shadow and just going over again the areas that I contoured to add more of that bruising effect for my zombie look. And then to kind of soften the edges, here I'm going back to my damp sponge just to kind of soften the edges a little bit. And I think it really works well together. Now taking a matte colored black shadow and I'm going to kind of give myself that sunken in look. I'm just kind of going in right by the bridge of my nose and just adding a lot of black shadows so it kind of sinks in my eyes. And then softening it with my damp sponge. Now here I'm going in with the purple shadow with the angled brush and I'm just going to kind of dab this right around my mouth to give it like that bruising effect and it kind of darkens those areas. Now going in with the cool gray shadow I'm going to just pat this on my lips to give it like that dead like appearance. 
And then here I am just actually contouring my neck with the angled brush since we have all of those colors kind of all mixed in together. I think it works really well and here I'm just kind of like sucking in my neck so you can see like all of the like little crevices. Now to draw the veins, we're going to be using an eyeliner brush and also the red cream color makeup from the palette and also a purple jawliner or you can also use the purple from the cream color palette. Now to draw the veins, you first want to apply pressure when you apply or when you press the brush to your skin and then lessen the pressure as you end the vein. So you don't want to have really harsh veins, but if you happen to make a mistake like I did, I made a lot of mistakes with my veins, just take a gray cool tone shadow and just blend it out and all of your mistakes, all the mistakes that you made, it will all be blended away perfectly. And also don't forget to make veins on your neck since we are zombies. Now for the waterline, I'm using this OCC lip liner, which is also very safe for the waterline to give it that bloodshot look. And here I'm just applying a bit more of the burgundy and a little bit of black shadow to my lids. Now for the gash, you want to use little small pieces of toilet paper and also spearmint gum. So what you want to do is you first want to apply the spearmint gum wherever you would like to make that fake gash and here we're going to be placing it on both sides of the face. Now as for the toilet paper, you want to make sure that you tear them up in very small little pieces and you kind of want to make it into a little ball and then when you place it on your skin, you want to pinch it in the middle. Now to cover up the white toilet paper, just go ahead and use some foundation. I'm also using again that same damp sponge. And then once it dries, I'm using a bit more of the black shadow right into the center of the gash because we want that part to be the darkest when we apply the blood over it a little bit later. So I first used this purple color with a makeup sponge and I found that it wasn't that pigmented so I decided to use the little um, little brushes that actually came with this little kit and it actually looks like a little makeup sponge that you find in like those little eyeshadow palettes and I found that this actually distributed the products a lot more evenly and it was really pigmented so I mixed some of the red and the purple and I really like the way how it turned out but if you want to kind of change up the color you can always go ahead and do that but I like the way how it looked and then if some of your toilet paper comes out just go ahead and take a little bit more of the spearmint gum and then just reapply that same toilet paper. Here I'm taking again that cool tone gray shadow and I'm just going to dab this around the gash to make it look a little bit dirty to give it a little bit more color and some dimension because we want this gash to look pretty gruesome. And I'm also again going to just place this around my mouth and also on the other side of my face. Finally the blood, I'm using this vampire blood and I'm just going to use a flat brush and just pack this on right onto the gash and as you guys can see the places where we packed on the black shadow it makes it look a lot darker like it's rotting meat and it just looks really gross and here I'm also taking some spray blood and just spraying it right by my mouth and also right into the gash area so it looks like I just ate something or someone and it just makes it look really gruesome and I'm just going to apply some right on my lips and then apply a little bit more of that cool tone gray shadow to give my lips that dead look and then apply a little bit more of the fake blood. So if you want to take it to the next level, I'm right there with you. So I ended up purchasing this nurse costume from a party store. You can get it at any Halloween store and I'm going to dirty it up by rubbing it in some dirt and also some grass because you don't want your outfit to be stark white. You really want to make it look zombie-ish. So this will definitely give that effect. And here I'm just taking a lighter and I'm burning some holes. So if you are underage, you definitely want parental supervision since the costume is flammable. And here I'm also going to run the lighter right around the edges of the sleeves and also around the collar to kind of give it a little bit more of an aged look and that dirty effect. And I really like the way how it turned out. This did take quite some time so just hang in there if your hands are hurting because 
my hands were hurting because I had to keep clicking the lighter and I think it was definitely all worth it and I also did the same thing also to the hat to give it that really worn out look. Taking some of the vampire blood with a paintbrush, splattering it all over the costume and also taking some on my latex gloves which I forgot to mention and I'm also just going to smear that on the dress to give it a realistic look. Here is the completed zombie makeup Halloween tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to show me some love, subscribe to her channel, check out her video and let her know that I sent you. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you already haven't. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much and have a happy Halloween.